Well, if you know anything about Trey Yingst here, he's our foreign correspondent, more like a war correspondent based in Jerusalem. So he's covered his share of horror stories. Uh, but I, I don't think he envisioned that Ben and Jerry's and the controversy over them pulling ice creams from uh, Israeli-occupied territories in the area would cause such a kerfuffle. But indeed it has. Trey in Jerusalem right now with the latest on that. Trey. Neil, it has. I've got the inside scoop for you. The controversial decision has really drawn reactions from across the region and the world. We saw Israel's foreign minister, Yair Lapid, say yesterday the decision was disgraceful, and fans of the ice cream are saying they plan to boycott future purchases. Now, we were at the Ben and Jerry's factory in central Israel yesterday, where the owner told us he's actually refusing to comply with this new mandate by the corporation in the United States to stop selling ice cream in areas that are considered occupied by the Israeli government. Now, the corporation behind Ben & Jerry's, Unilever, responded by deciding not to renew his license. This factory alone produces around 50,000 cartons of ice cream every day. At the end of 2022, they will have to cease operations after receiving a letter from Ben & Jerry's corporate in the United States. It will leave 160 people here in central Israel out of a job. Everybody here, it's, uh, they have Ben and Jerry's in their veins, you know, it's, uh, they, for years. This is what they do. They are proud for their, you know, with the product, they're proud with the brand, they're proud with the social mission. And uh, I, can, I don't know what to tell them. I don't know what explanation I can give them. Ben and Jerry's is known for having some strong political opinions. On their website, you'll find blog posts about everything from cannabis legalization to prison reform, alongside, of course, their new ice cream flavors. Neil? You know, I'm just wondering, I mean, the impact on them, this is a small percentage of global sales through parent Unilever. Um, is there any budging on the company's part on this that we know of? Well, we're actually learning a lot about some internal disagreements regarding the ice cream wars that erupted earlier this week. We know that there's an independent board for Ben & Jerry's, and they actually released a statement saying they didn't approve the wording of this release that happened overnight. So it's really this back and forth we're seeing inside versus the corporation and Ben & Jerry's, which historically is known as this Vermont-based ice cream maker, started out as a mom-and-pop shop. So we could see them backtrack on the statement not to sell ice cream in places like East Jerusalem and the West Bank. But as it stands now, that factory in Israel will have to close at the end of next year. Neil? Trey, the only thing I'm pleased with is that you've advanced from one of the, the world's best war correspondents to my area of expertise, food. So hip, hip, hooray, young man. So keep me posted on these skill sets that you're developing. Uh, Trey Hinkst following all of that in Jerusalem. Can, can you believe that? Just amazing.